Hey everyone, Tony D and Little Joan here with a Hollywoke hot take. Oh, Nick Cannon. Ooh. Um, here's an article about the whole Nick Cannon thing from Variety. Before anti-Semitic comics, Nick Cannon decried cancel culture. No. Nuh uh Variety. He's not ours. Okay? You can't dump Nick Cannon on us and call him, oh, oh, this was another one of these anti-woke guys. No wonder, right? Uh-uh. He's not one of us. He's one of yours. He is total Hollywood. He is a millionaire and he's got money. He wasn't some uh, YouTuber uh, decrying cancel culture in any significant way. He's got way more power than 99% of the YouTubers, and he could have done something significant against cancel culture, like Terry Crews is. Instead, he decided to do what he did. I can't even tell you what he said. I can't even say that uh, here on my channel. I'll get, I'll certainly get demonetized. I may get flagged. I don't know. I get censored. People like me, oh, we'll get censored like that. People like Nick Cannon, you know, I thought they had fired him. They did fire him from, like, one thing, but they didn't fire him from everything. He's still working. He's still got, he's still got stuff. Um, so this is, this is unbelievable variety that you would put this headline. Before the anti-Semitic comics, Nick Cannon decried cancel culture. Don't smear us. We decry cancel culture. I don't know what he's doing, and I don't care, uh, because he's not in the same league as the rest of us who want freedom of speech, okay? And for the record, I don't think he should be, uh, um, you know, I don't agree with any of the rants, uh, but I also don't agree in cancel culture. And what happened to him wasn't cancel culture, okay? Let's be honest. He, uh, this isn't a 10-year-old tweet or an old video or something he said in the past that got dug up by a bunch of busybodies on Twitter just to hurt him because he said something else they didn't like. This is him live saying something so horrendous uh, and not even apologizing for it, really, that, um, you know, he he got caught saying something bad and it went viral. I mean, what did, what did he expect, really? Uh, from the article. But on Tuesday night, Cannon faced a reckoning of his own when Viacon CBS, with whom he's had a professional relationship since he was a teenager on all that in the late 90s, severed ties with him. The company did so after anti-Semitic comments and conspiracy theories he made on the June 30th episode of his podcast, Cannon's Class. Oh, wow. That was a while ago. I thought it was sooner than that. Cannon's guest on the podcast was Professor Griff, late of Public Enemy. Well, there you go. There you go. Griff ain't exactly PC. <laughs> Who was fired from the group in 1989 after saying, and I can't say that. Um, it's it's pretty bad. But Griff, Griff said stuff. He was always the one in Public Enemy who was, you know, saying stuff like this. And look, no disrespect to the rest of Public Enemy, but they weren't exactly PC either. In fact, they were constantly, uh, you know, getting blasted for their views and lyrics. But Griff was out there, man. Uh, yeah. Professor Griff, he was way out there. He is like Farrakhan level. And now apparently Nick Cannon has joined his little uh, group. Um, so, you know. I can't even read you the quotes from his podcast. I mean, it's crazy what he said. You know, it's it's nuts. It's it's just nuts. Um, you know, in a in a more freedom of speech world, uh, people would allow him to express his views, so we could know uh, how stupid he is, and so people would go, "Oof, I'm not supporting that guy anymore." But instead, we had to have this situation where. You know, everybody just gets silenced and disappeared down the memory hole. That's not the way it should work. We should have freedom of speech for this very reason. That these ideas can be discussed and that a guy like Nick Cannon 
can be corrected in the public forum. So someone like Terry Crews, who's trying to trying to do that, uh, you know, is can blast him. They could get on a talk show, air their views, and Terry Crews would win. And Nick Cannon would come off of the show, probably see that and go, oh, maybe I got to change my views here. People like hate me now. I thought I was mainstream, but I'm not. I thought it was mainstream too. I never expected this from a Nick Cannon. I mean, there's plenty of other celebrities. I guess, uh, you know, wouldn't have been as shocking, but Nick Cannon, I thought he was just as milk toast as Ryan Seacrest, but who knew? Who knew? Um, you know. Cannon went on, according to the article, to speak about his higher education studies, which have included pursuing a master's degree in psychology and a PhD in divinity and theology at Howard University. Yeah, fat lot of good it's doing you, dummy. But then again, you get, you're worth millions of dollars, so there's that. At least you won't have to starve when everybody else cuts you out. I can't imagine. But, but that hasn't happened yet. He still has... You know, stuff going on. And look, he's getting, uh, in my in my view, he's getting uh, handled with kid gloves here. They're giving him every chance in the world to turn the boat around. And um, if this was a, a person of a different race, forget it. They'd be done. Over. Done. Forever. Look at Roseanne. Roseanne apologized like hell. She was crying. Oh, she's done. She can't get work. Nick Cannon still has work. Nick Cannon's deals aren't all dead yet. So I think that's a double standard. Um, you know, either either you cancel everybody for the same reasons, or, you know, I think the opposite. I don't think you cancel people. You let them air their horrible views, and then you, you know, bring on people like Terry Crews to say, you're an idiot. You're an idiot, and here's why. Anybody can argue these views. But... You can't argue them if you can't express them, like on YouTube, for example. I can't express them on YouTube without getting flagged. Without getting flagged, demonetized, and probably the whole video taken down. Um, you know, if this wasn't a mainstream news story, I, it might get taken down. I don't know. YouTube's terms of service and the way they do things are, are a mystery to many YouTubers, including me. So, you know, it, it's... It's terrible. It's terrible what's happened. And Variety, you ought to be ashamed for this headline. You really ought to be ashamed. Uh-huh. He's not ours. He's yours, Hollywood. Take him. <laughs>